You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I am bothered the more. Why you Miri? I am bothered. For my mother to finally get involved in this means I must do something about it. But you are doing something, my child. Nobody will hold anything against you. Wani Miri, I submit to your authority. And I say, you cannot submit to my authority. For you are the daughter of the gods. I am the daughter of the gods, yes. But I am confused. I am confused and that is why I am here. Who is this man that the gods want me to save? Why is my mother involved in this? Why do they want me to save him? Still, I do not know where to find him. I understand your plight, my daughter. It has something to do with the gods. The idea thing is to leave the gods to conclude what they started. Even I, Wani Muri, cannot explain the mind of the gods. We mortals can never be able to understand the reason why the gods do what they do. If only I can get answers to why he always haunts my dreams. It will help me a lot. My daughter, try and recollect all your dreams. Is it totally correct for the daughter of the gods to say that he has been the one haunting her dreams? I do not know the answer to that question. She appears in my dream. I do not know if she's the one haunting me or if I've been the one haunting her. But the truth is that I need to be guided. And that is why I'm here. We all need to be guided. We are mortals. We do better when we listen to the gods. They are saying something to you. The gods are saying something to you. And my advice is, listen carefully and be patient. For the gods will eventually make everything work perfectly well for you. But how exactly do I get to know when the gods begin to make things work perfectly for me? And how do I understand what they are saying to me? And how do I get to know what exactly they want from me? We mortals are programmed to work with time. But the gods manifest their agenda in seasons. I understand what you mean by the gods manifesting in seasons. But I can't help but wonder. Who exactly is this man? Is he real? Or just a figure in my dreams? It boils down to the same thing. When the season comes, the gods will make everything clean. You will agree with me when I say that this has been a long ministration. But I will end it with one important declaration. She is who she told you she is. Your guardian angel. What exactly is going on? It feels more like the gods are playing a game with me. How am I supposed to handle all this? If it's not my mother's suitors haunting my dreams, it's Echezonanna haunting my sanity. 
I cannot explain my attraction to him. Yet, there seems to be something about him. I was told this is your favorite spot in the kingdom. Who told you that? Well, let's just say I have my sources. Don't tell me you detailed spies to monitor me. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all, my princess. It's just that, you see, I have you in mind always. You have come again. I'm flattered. Well, the gods bear me witness that I am not just saying these things to flatter you. I mean every word of it. Meanwhile, if I may ask, what has gotten the most beautiful woman in Umedili Kingdom? in such a depressed mood. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. No. You know I cannot help but worry. But Princess, I worry about you a lot. Honestly, I... I don't know what to say. I'm alright. Well, you don't have to say a thing. My princess, I really care about you. Well, well, let's see if what I brought for you today can cheer you up. You brought something for me? Just wait. <laughs> Greetings, father. Greetings, my dear. I am aware you have not been in this palace this morning. Where have you been? Nowhere in particular, just visiting friends. I see. Are they friends that I know? Yes, father. My friends, you know. Ifedisha. Who is he? He? Who do you speak of, father? Ifedisha. I am not just your father. I am the king of this land and I know you well enough to know that even as we speak, there is a man on your mind. Who is he? Uh, father, I, I, I... Have you seen yourself lately? There is this look that can only be seen in a woman. When there is a man making her heart throb, who is the man? Father, there is no man. Um, if it is here, bring him to me. What? Father, but I, I have not been with him long enough. Uh, but you have been with him long enough to always think about him. To the extent you are practically restless without him, I want you to bring him to me. I think this color will go with this one. What do you think? Mm -mm. No, no. I think this one. Okay. I think so too. Oh. If I did you, what do you think? These two can go well. If I did you. What is it? Organ. Uh, nothing. My father wants to meet him. Him? Who? The young man I've been seeing for quite some time now. You've been seeing a man. Yes. Remember the young man she told us about? The one she met on her way to your house. 
The one that mesmerizes how it went. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Ah! Don't tell me that. Yes. I'm sorry I've not told you. I've just had a lot on my head lately. I, I'm sorry. I understand, my friend. With that kind of a man around you, you should have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but, how did the king find out? He's the king. Have you forgotten? He is gifted in his own way. Well, I suggest you, you tell him about it first. You never can tell. <laughs> if he asks me, I don't think that discussion will go well. Mm, Ijima, not all men are like your Amobi. Well, princess, I suggest you, you tell him about it first. You never can tell. He might just agree. I'm still thinking about it. Please, can we do less of me? We have marriage to plan. <laughs> Sincerely, Your Majesty, I am short of words. Why? I have been wondering why you asked her to do that. Why? Are you confused? Don't you think the time is ripe for us to become serious with this? I am a king. And I am not caught out for child's play. Are you not tired of sneaking around with my daughter? I want to end it all. Listen, you are going to come to the palace as my daughter's suitor. And then we can take it up from there. Or are you confirming to me you are no longer interested in my daughter? Your Majesty, I must confess, I have come to love your daughter. Case is closed. See you in the palace. Obudanyo, asimo obudanyo, mata kiri bera kwa kasi ya mecha, ma kuku tiri buka si kata bisi ya, iyo yemi taraku ya buru kwa ya, My son, you're welcome. You seem so surprised to see her. Yes, she came looking for you and I asked her to wait. <laughs> Obekune, I hope you're not angry with me. Um, just being a consent friend, that's all. Yes. Can I talk to you for a minute? <sighs> no. My son. I want to see her for a minute. Go and speak with him. Come back anytime. Obudanyo, asimo obudanyo. Obudanyo, mata kiri bera kwa kasi ya mecha, ya mecha. Ma kuku tiri buka. I knew you would get over her. What is what is it? What is going on? What? What is going on with you? Obekuni, I can't still understand what you're talking Fine, about. Fine, let me use the language you understand. The other day you brought me food. Today you came visiting, even when you heard that I was not at home. You stayed back. What, were you, what are you trying to achieve? When you know my heart belongs to someone else. But she's getting married. Soon she will belong to another, and not you. Obekuni, what is it that you see in Ijema that you can't see in me? Am I not a maiden just like her? Fine, you are a maiden. Yes, you are a maiden, but not for me. Even if I want to move away from Ijema, certainly I cannot consider her best friend as her replacement. I have lived with a woman all my life. I respect women a lot. But I'm just her friend. I'm not her sister. So? So you're ready to lose your best friend just because of a man? No, answer me. Say it. I, I, I thought so. 
See, Obiekuni, um, I'm going back to see why I'm like I promised her. Uh, I don't know. Obodanyo, 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 Wata kiri bera kwa kasi ya bechiano. Yeah, yeah. Exes on anna. Oh, 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 oh. The son of a good enemy who the great warrior. Oh. May his soul continue to rest in peace. I am so pleased, so pleased that you have grown into such a promising young man of my kingdom. All thanks to the gods, your majesty. So, what are your plans towards my beautiful daughter? I am sure you will agree with me that she is indeed the most beautiful young woman you have in this kingdom. Or are you going to disagree with me on that? So, what are you going to say? Well, I totally agree with you on that, Your Majesty. She is indeed the most beautiful woman in this kingdom. <laughs> and, Your Majesty, that's another reason why I'm here. I want to take this relationship of ours to a whole new level. That is with your permission, Your Majesty. Of course! The son of Ogudinihu, our great warrior. You have my permission, of course. <laughs> so, my love, what do you think? If I did Your Majesty, I don't understand. Is there something I did not say correctly? Here right now, you said everything correctly, but I am not sure what you have been saying before now. What kind of nightmare is this? The men of Edungol and I were here yesterday to make the offer again. But my brother bluntly refused as usual. So I have a plan. If you are with me on this, if you are prepared to fight for what is rightfully yours, if you are prepared to earn a bright future, then swear to an oath that you all will stick with me in this fight until the end. And that you will not be a betrayer like Ego Dinogu, the fool. Is that all? Yes. So how exactly do we begin? <coughs> Your Highness, please permit me to ask a question. What exactly is this plan of yours? Tidiati, why are you such a coward? Why can't you for once in your life be a man? The next time you interrupt me, Give my Enough! Um, Your Highness, I'm sorry. I'm only seeking clarification. Please! Um, like Your Highness 
said, if anybody wants to back out, he should then do that now. If not, let's go into more important activities. Exactly! You want to know my plan? Then swear first. Okay then. I swear to stick to this group and to fight to the end. I swear to stick to this group and to fight to the end. I... I... I'm sorry, my people. I cannot do this. I cannot. You can go! Go, coward! That is what you are. Let's get down to business. Your Highness, you are in your compound. And from what you told me, your wife and daughter traveled to your in-laws village. Who could possibly be eavesdropping? Have you forgotten I have servants? Come, both of you. Let me tell you my plan. Ah! Where is the king? The king is sleeping. Is there any problem? for me. Please sit. Did you dismiss the guard at the gate as instructed? Yes, Your Highness, I did. I do not want anybody to hear what I am about to tell you. Your Highness, is everything all right? I had a terrible dream last night. And ever since, I have had this feeling of unease. I feel something is going to go wrong. Your Highness, please, tell me, what is the dream all about? We can find a solution to any problem. That won't be necessary, my son. Take this. This is authority that makes one a king. Why are you giving it to me, Your Highness? I sense a terrible conspiracy against me. Give it to me if I wake up in the morning. 
But if I fail to wake up, hold on to it until the gods select another king. Never allow my brother come anywhere close to it. He is evil and he does not deserve to be a king. Listen, my son. If I fail to wake up tomorrow morning, there are two things that I value most in my life and you must protect them. My daughter and this ancient caduceus of the ancestors. It is capable of protecting you when you are in danger. Take them both and flee. The gods will bring you back when it is time to hand over the caduceus. Where is it? You bastard! You think you're wise? You think you're wise? You think you can manipulate me? Even in death? It's just a matter of time. And I will find it. here I heard him scream and I rushed in I saw him struggling I don't understand you you don't live close to the king how did you get into the king's inner chamber what do you mean what exactly are you insinuating are you saying I killed my own brother I don't killed he Where is it? Where is what? And what's going on here? The caduceus of the ancestors. You are the fool that became his bodyguard. This is the climax, the night of death. Tell me where he kept it, or you are gone with him. Where are we going to? No, I must get my stuff. Brave warriors of Okunago, as we can see, it is obvious that the princess and her lover, Ego Dinogu, murdered the king and absconded with the caduceus of the ancestors. You must find them. Dead or alive. You may leave. 
Yet. You know the kind of uncle you have. He will come after us and kill us. We have to move now. Come, 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 come. Follow me this way. Thing like that. We are not in any position to question the gods. I will question them. I will. How could they be this cruel? Do you know what? My uncle will decline self king. I thought you will be done about it. Is it a man? What a can you see I have a bakwa? Oh, baby, 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 oh, I cannot let my daughter get married to a man that is not from this kingdom. It is not possible. 
even when the solution to our problem is staring us right in the face, we still worry. How many times would I want you to stop sneaking on me? How many times? But I never did, Father. I walked in right in front of you. That rubbish you are saying as we are coming in now, is, has it anything to do with me? Father, you seem present, but your mind is far away. I just saw you with the man from Obunago. And now you are telling me that the solution to my problem is staring me in the face. What does that mean? You do not want me to marry a man from another kingdom. Because you know once I move away, you will surely look like a king without an heir. Right? Where is this coming from? 